Hi guys, I'm from Gaia Technology and this is my second video on SOLIDWORKS 2016. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sphere using SOLIDWORKS. By now, you should already have the software installed in your computer. Once you have the software installed, double click to open the software. Go to the file and click new. You'll have three options, namely the part, the assembly and the drawing option. You have to choose the part option. Before we start sketching, we need to have the knowledge of the planes that are needed to sketch a 3D model. There are three planes perpendicular to these three axes. The first plane will be perpendicular to the y-axis and we call it the top plane. The next one we call the right plane perpendicular to the x-axis and the last one is perpendicular to the z-axis called the front plane. As you can see, these are the three planes we discussed earlier. We're going to go with the top plane. Okay, to make this window parallel to your computer screen, you have to click Y axis. Okay. Now, currently we are inside this line option, but to create a sphere, we need to start with a circle. You click the origin, go anywhere on the screen, click. Okay, now this is just a rough dimension to set the dimension. For beginners, you should use smart dimension feature. As you can see that this is this sphere has a diameter of about 111 and I will just round it out uh, round it up to 100 millimeters all right so this means that our ball will have a diameter of 100 millimeters now the concept behind making a sphere is that you need to have a half circle and you will rotate it around a particular axis now first of all we need to create the axis around which we are going to rotate the half sphere why am i not making this circle a uh, half circle yet I'm just going to tell you now after I make the line okay you have to click the line option which will be our axis of rotation later and click here all right okay now until you exit from the line feature it will keep continuing so you have to press the escape button on the keyboard all right now as you can see that this line here is a solid line but we don't want it to interfere with our sketch so what are we gonna do we will make it a con for construction line so once we make it a construction line this won't interfere during our solid model but will act as a reference now as you can see that 
there are two half circles on the left hand side of the axis and the right hand side of the axis. Now we just need to cut off one of them. To cut it off, we are going to use this trim entities feature. Now either you can choose, okay, you have to choose this trim to closest, then either you can choose this or this half circle. Okay, I'm going to choose this. Voila. All right. Click the right green button. We have our half circle with our reference axis which will act as the rotational axis exit sketch go to features tab in our previous video we used the extruded boss base feature but in this video since we are going to rotate the sketch we are going to use revolved base or boss Okay, as you can see that they are asking a plane on which to sketch the feature cross section or an existing sketch to use for the feature. That means that we have to choose a sketch which will use this feature. Now from here, we have to choose sketch 1. Okay, this is giving a warning sign saying the sketch is currently open. A non-thin revolution feature requires a closed sketch. Would you like the sketch to be automatically closed? Either you can choose yes or you choose no. And you see that the sketch is open. And the axis of revolution is, has been chosen as line 1 in sketch 1. So this is our line 1. And we want to make it a 360 degree rotation in order for us to have a sphere. And the direction does not matter since it's a sphere so either way we rotate we are gonna get the same sphere now it's not going to be a solid ball because the sketch was not closed therefore they're showing the thickness of the ball and you can control it currently it's set to 10 millimeters let's see all right we have a solid ball sorry we have a hollow ball if you section it you can see that it's a hollow ball okay end section okay um, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to make it a solid ball you have to go edit your sketch again let's choose our top plane okay as you can see if we want to close the gap between the two end we choose a solid line and we do not check for construction because we need a solid sketch but we already have a reference sketch there a construction line exit sketch
this will give you an error because we already chose the thickness to 10 millimeters. Once we make it a solid model, we cannot have any thickness. Therefore, we're going to click this option. Try to rebuild. No. Like this. Right click. Delete. We have to do the process again. Revolve. Choose sketch. This has automatically been chosen. The axis of revolution. And 360 degree. And this time the thin feature is optional so if you want it then you can choose it or else it will be a solid wall click the right tick button on your top right corner there you go you have a solid wall if you want to verify section it green tick there you go you have a solid ball and section thank you for watching this video please leave a comment if you want me to improve my video in any way or if you have any suggestion for my next video thanks a lot